you never could imagine Never thought you could have it You need me Today's video is about how to level up and boss up your life during quarantine. You know, give yourself a little bit of a quarantine glow up. And in this video, I'm going to give you five of my top tips on how to do that. So let's get right into the video. Okay, so tip number one is to create a routine. Okay, and this isn't just like wake up you know roll out of bed and stay in the same pajamas that you've been in for three days and just kind of do whatever no that is not a routine like during this time like it's okay to be lazy a little bit and to be laid back but what's really gonna help you kind of like if you're going through it and you're in this quarantine funk cabin fever is to create a routine for yourself whatever that may look like for you but make sure that it's structured and scheduled so let's say you have those little on Online zoom classes that you have to do make sure you center your day around those classes so that way you're still getting up and you're still getting things done and oftentimes you see people on social media being like oh like you have to be productive and you know you need to come out of this quarantine having like accomplished something crazy but that's not all true but you do need to create somewhat of a schedule for yourself schedule in when you're gonna take a nap take a break from your classes schedule in when you're gonna eat because sometimes we're just opening up that fridge because we're bored and we have literally nothing else to do during this quarantine so make that schedule scheduling your breakfast scheduling your lunch snacks dinners whatever you have to do so that way you feel like there's some kind of structure to your day especially if you're a college student because we got used to having so much structure throughout our days and waking up going to classes eating out with friends and we don't have that anymore so make sure you stick to a routine so Tip number two is make, take a social media detox because right now there's so much fear and uncertainty out there in the world and social media really isn't helping it out like at all. So try to take a break from social media. If you have an iPhone, I know that for iPhone users, you can set up time limits on your phone, whether that be minimizing your social media to two, three, or even pushing it four hours a day. So make sure that you take a detox from social media because there is so much misinformation out there about, you know, this whole pandemic that's going on. And oftentimes that can get like really scary and super intense. So take a break from social media set up yourself some time limits and fill in that time that you would usually spend scrolling through social media doing something different even though we're in this age of social distancing and quarantine you can still go out for a run or walk around your neighborhood or maybe go on like linkedin learning and pick up like a new skill but definitely take a detox so tip number three is working out and I know you guys might hate me for saying that but it's true you can fill in your time by working out and there's plenty of ways to do it because I was one of those people who I was go to the gym on campus literally every single day and then I thought to myself oh my gosh like what am I gonna do the gym is closed and then I remember there's so many free resources online you have youtube you have nike training club and some of my, like my favorite youtubers like blogilates as well like they're amazing resources for quick free and easy workouts so definitely incorporate working out into your routine so that way you get active especially for my college students because we're used to walking around to try to get to our classes and being on campus and we don't realize how much we're actually moving around until that whole routine gets stripped away from us so i definitely recommend working out nike training clubs premium is actually free right now because of the quarantine so 10 out of 10 you should go and check that out 
Okay, so tip number four is find an accountability partner during this time. If you're really trying to glow up, if you're really trying to level yourself up during this quarantine, having an accountability partner for whatever goals that you're still trying to reach in 2020 is amazing. And you have resources like Zoom, house party and facetime if you're an iphone user to be able to stay in touch with your accountability partner now more than ever so there is no excuse of saying oh you know what like i think i'm gonna like sleep in today no because there is really nothing else to do so having an accountability partner also helps because in this time of social distancing where we're used to hanging out with friends going to lunch with friends and dinners and going to the movies it gets kind of depressing as human beings we need social interaction so having an accountability partner that you schedule into your day to talk to and to go over your goals will really help keep you motivated and keep you sane during this time now tip number five is honestly the most important tip and that's finding time for self-care because we're honestly getting used to being in our pajamas and our sweatpants all day seven days a week 24 7 and yes although it is amazing to relax and you know take this time to really like sit with yourself make sure that you're still actually taking care of yourself you know whether that be waking up and taking a shower and changing into a new pair of sweatpants or doing that face mask or journaling or picking up that hobby that you felt like you never had time for but it is so important to delegate time for self-care because that's something that we're really forgetting and oftentimes you see with people who are all about oh like you need to level up your life and glow up sometimes they leave out that time for self-care and it's also really hard to seeing all of these posts on social media saying oh if you don't come out of this quarantine with some type of new skill or business then you really didn't do anything but none of that is worth it if you're not taking care of your mental and again there's so many free resources out there that you can use that can really like help you in that process of self-care so apps like headspace or stop breathe think are amazing apps for meditation and there's so many free guided meditations online on youtube that you can use as a resource and really make sure that you dedicate at least an hour a day of self-care for me personally i like to have either a power hour when I wake up in the morning or a power hour in the evening whatever that looks like to you where you dedicate time to either journal do face masks sit with yourself and just breathe and doing absolutely nothing that's also considered self-care and that's also completely valid and that's all I have for the video today. I hope you guys liked it. Please hit the subscribe button and like if you want to see more videos like this.